Greetings lovelies, it's Emmy and I am back to eat more Japanese candies. Well, I'm going to make it first, but then I'll eat it. Da -da -da -da! It's oe kaki shabat. So oe kaki I think means like painting, and then shabat means is the Japanese uh, version of sherbet. So you get turtle kame, taco, octopus, kujira, whale, or penguin, which is penguin. I want the whale. Kujira, kujira. Yes. Can you see that? I win, I win, I got the kujira. Mixing tray, three packets, like gelato spoon shovel, and a dropper. Just to add water to that line. So, doo -doo. oh, and then you spill it everywhere because you're a klutz. Now we add the blue packet, which is the shabbat. Smells like ramune. And then we take our shovel and mix it well. And now you'll see the whale. Oh, look, isn't he happy? Happy whale. La, 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 la. So fill it to the line because you're going to be adding more liquid to it. You don't want to overfill it. Okay. And then we have a happy cloud. And then we have, I don't know what that is. Is that a seagull? Okay. A happy seagull. Yay! Fill these trays to the line, pink to number two. It smells fruity. And give that a good stir. The kiro. Kiro is yellow. Rinse your paddle off and do the same with the yellow. So there are these tiny little divots in here and what you do is you Drop her up your color, which is a little bit thick, and then you just drop it into the little divots. Cute! And then it just drops right into the waiting trays. So I'm gonna do a little pattern. Fun! It's so cool. It's almost like the pop and cook and sushi. The ikura, it just kind of turns into little balls and falls into the tray. So cute. Okay, I'm going to do... It's too bad you can't do more. And then you rinse your dropper out. Suck up some of the yellow gel. And now I'm going to put some yellow dots. Pickle, pickle, pickle. Oh, so much fun. Awesome. <laughs> So cool. And I think I got them all. Man, you should want to keep going. So I'm going to pop this into the freezer. I'll check in about an hour, half an hour, and then I'll come back and taste it. So it's obviously been more than one hour. It's actually more like overnight. My son ended up waking up from his nap yesterday, so I wasn't able to taste the Shabbat. So I'm back to taste it. Okay. And I painted my nails. This is what it looks like when it's come out of the freezer, that side, and now we're going to unmold it. Here we go. And it comes out really easily. Ding! Here it's sliding. Mmm, it's cold and sweet. And to me it tastes like ramune. Kind of that bubblegumish taste. On the packaging it said grape soda. It doesn't taste like grape soda to me, it tastes like ramune, a little bit bubblegummy, um, but good. I can't taste if the pink or the yellow has any flavor. Yeah, it's pretty good. Really fun, I think, for summer, and really fun to do the little dripping part. I think that was the, probably the best part. So if you've never done that before, I totally recommend it. And you can save this tray. I think you could probably use it for chocolates or something. All right, thanks you guys for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Don't forget to do all that good stuff. And if you're not subscribed, subscribe so you won't miss a video. And I will see you in my next video. Toodaloo, bye, cheers. And maybe it's coffee, maybe it's no sandwich. Was I the only kid that never found this trick? Very convincing. Do I just have bad form?